Hello, everyone. Welcome to September, but also welcome to Tuesday. Yes. It's today's September 1st. Welcome to our, like, literal favorite kinds of videos to make. I'm this so seasonal oh. trend reports. Trend report. And this time it is it's fall 2020. I'm in my fall garb, my sweater. Me too. Denali sent me the sweater and I fixed the sleeves and I love it. So thank you, Denali. Yes. And we, jean jackets. I yes. have my spooky socks on. Red G2 Go. Yes. Fall is by far my favorite season. And Halloween is my favorite day all year. We've been told this, we all know at this point. So I am so pumped I'm so happy. to just. Be finally getting to all, into all things fall, all things spoopy, all things spooky, ooky, and kooky. I'm excited. I just like cardigans. I feel like as a teacher, it's like a rite of passage. When you get your teaching license, you're like, and you just automatically like cardigans. Get a sweaters. lot of cardigans. You just get a lot of knit. Yes. So, so like we, we did <laughs> say, we have tons of fun fall content and videos planned for September. I'm and then, so of course, excited. we will have more going into October, including tomorrow we're going to have a second channel video so be sure to go below and check that out we are filming that tonight and posting it tomorrow we're excited to film that i won't say what it is yet but we have yeah, some fall stuff coming thursday tons of fall stuff next week we got some fun stuff on what's old saturdays if you saw the what's old saturday you know what i'm talking about just Big fun, exciting fun month. things uh, all around so i'm pumped all that aside i think we should begin the fall 2020 trend report Okay, so I'm gonna start everybody off, and we're starting with the accessories, the hats, the gloves, now that we're starting to get into the cooler months, and the jewelry, the jewelry. Mm -hmm. Jewelry, kind of like what we've been seeing in the past, where it's like chunky statement jewelry, kind of going more with like classic colors, like silver and gold. Yeah. And if it's not really chunky, it's like, it's like a, it's like a suggestion yes. of a necklace. Yes. Very deep, very It's like small. a strand of hay. Like, it's just like, <laughs> It would not be. Yes. It's my necklace. It's like a wheat thing. Literally. Like, wheat like a barley. <laughs> um, so something that I'm kind of like here for is like pantyhose are coming back. Or I think they're called stockings now. When I was a kid, they were called pantyhose. Yeah. Um, and like tall. Back when I was a young Back when I was a kid. When we would go to the mall during the fall when I was a kid, we did two things. We ate at the, well, three things. We ate at the food court. We got all the pumpkin and like leaf soaps from that and body work. You picked up your mom's. Yeah, and then we'd buy um, different car pantyhose, like fall pantyhose. Wonderful. So that must be like the season to yeah, replace them. Apparently they're back. So other than pantyhose, ribbed socks. Tall socks. Like knee high or like thigh high yes. length ribbed Kind of like socks. When you picture they're like, like a peasant look, tall like kind of lettuce hem. But like, they're not like, socks. they're not like gym socks. Like no. they're not like the white tube socks. No. They're like fall colors. They're like socks. Gray. Or we'll this get color. to that later. Yeah. We digress. <laughs> and then speaking on the hands, gloves, I'm kind of here for this with like elbow length, like 80s drag queen 80s. prom gloves. Like, like I, I got my wool coat on, I got my like glove. You pull that like white silk glove all the way up and you don't talk to anybody yes. about this. Yes. Okay, so that is kind of it that we saw for like hats, jewelry, glasses, whatever. There were some ribbed knit beanies. You'll see that ribbed kind of continues. You'll hear that word a few times today. I think today. beanies are just universally yeah, called. Like but, they never go out of style. Yeah, so that's kind of all we saw. There wasn't like a ton of jewelry information out there right now mm -hmm. or like any other accessories. We will get in the bags and wallets. I don't think people are wearing a ton of jewelry. Yeah. With today's current climate. All the accessories seem very practical. Yes. <laughs> but let's jump into my favorite, the aka top jackets and tops and blouses, etc. So as I kind of expected for the season, blazers are gonna make a huge comeback again. Specifically oversized and long blazers. I actually picked one up about a month ago for myself, so I'm kind of excited to maybe like put that into a look or something. A lot of like micro plaid blazers and gray blazers. Another thing you're gonna see a ton of this year is gray. It just seems like they're doing ribbed everything, gray everything, all that fun stuff. Very comfortable. Yes, and going into that ribbed, ribbed cardigans are so, so every single article, website, blogger that I looked at was wearing like a cropped ribbed cardigan with chunky buttons. 
specifically though like the whole ribbed cardigan look that is so so popular and yeah cropped popular too big buttons popular but just ribbed is like that's like the important part. I think with the rib, a keyword that I use, because I wear a ton of rib sweaters, is like it's a fisherman's knit. So it's a very like specific way that sweaters are made that looks like the rib. rib. Yeah, okay. that's called a fisherman's knit. So um, I'm wondering. Turtlenecks, really popular. I really kind of like get turtlenecks. For turtlenecks, it is the ribbed, it is the thinner ones, and it is chunky ones. So kind of just turtlenecks all, all, all across the board. And then mock necks are still very popular as well. Mock necks have been popular for a while. They and really have. I don't think they're gonna go anywhere. It's kind of like a very cute in between of turtleneck and crew neck, which I think people really like. And I feel like they're not as weird because turtlenecks can like. Yeah. So they yeah. won't be as like, you know, scratchy. Yes. So my, oh, one of my favorites ever, trench coats are coming back. Again, I think that trench coats come back every single fall. I want a trench coat. I have I really, You have many. I trench have trench none. I want one. <laughs> so also like wool trench coats. So where it's almost like it looks like a combination of a blazer and a trench where it's like that micro plaid or it's like a gray wool. I have a Burberry one in my closet right now. So hopefully that'll sell this season. They are super, super nice, but again, I think that kind of goes with like the gloves look. We're really hitting that like 80s, like mom running out to the grocery store when it's like a little cold out. Like, this makes cute, me happy. Cute, 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 cute. I'm very excited for that. But yeah, normal trenches, super in as well. Probably not printed. We're kind of sticking to the cream, the tan, the like. It's a very like beige, the micro plaid, the not gray. Not very extra color palette. No. Like very simple, very, yes. you know, cut and dry. Nothing like, was it in the summer? We're all we saw with like, Neon. Yes. It's was, not that. It's completely flipping from that. Which I think all circumstances taking into effect. Yes. <laughs> That's why. We were ready for a fun summer and what we got, and we got was a depressing fall. So now we're into just like we are the we're greats. We're gonna wear beige. <laughs> so also the big buttons kind of carry across everything. The blazers, oh. the cardigans, the ribbed cardigans, the trenches. There's a lot of like emphasis on really big buttons. And then denim tops, not just jean jackets, of course jean jackets are always in, but like chambray tops I think are gonna come back. Weren't those popular a few years ago? Those like chambray yeah. like, button downs yes. that you wear with like- I saw a lot of those. You I wore think, with like the plaid vest. I think like, this skinny. time, <laughs> this time with them coming back, people want them to look more like real denim, not like a just like dyed blue chambray. It's mm -hmm. more of like a kind of like- Like a working denim, denim looking denim shirt, type. yes. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't write this down, but this is like my own personal forecast. I think we are gonna see flannels be super, super popular again. Again, how do you not have a Always though? popular in the fall, but with everybody going for comfort clothes and sitting at home, flannels are not dressy. They're super casual and they're so comfortable. So and they I look think good. Flannels are gonna do crazy. In the past two weeks, I sold like three or four rails tops. I have been selling a ton of flannels. And actually. I have had a flat line of them for about like a year, but just in the last two weeks, I sold like five of them. So flannels, get them. I really personally think if you're a posh seller, if you're watching this as a posh seller or eBay seller, not just for like the trends, get flannels if you find them and they're like a decent brand. Oh, I love a good flannel. Yes. Okay, so going on to my personal favorite, not only just jeans, but bottoms. So the big, big, big thing we are seeing is obviously denim anytime, anytime, anytime. Anytime, anytime. anytime anybody talks about fall, everybody always wears jeans. Duh. They're amazing, <laughs> specifically, Levi's jeans. So comfortable. Once Love again, we reinstate Levi's. This is a Levi's house. I'm not gonna stand up right now, but I have my Levi's 505s on. I was messaging someone. I just want to say, I actually was someone that never wore jeans like my entire life. And then I discovered Levi's. Now I have yeah, many when we, pairs. When we met, all he wore was like, Sweatpants. Basketball shorts? Or Adidas pants. pants. Or like Adidas like track pants. But like, like Levi's changed my opinion on denim. I am just obsessed with it. Just okay. obsessed. I'm not just talking about Levi's. <laughs> so specific style oh, we are seeing. Levi, we're like, Levi's, that's our own personal input. That's not, it. It's not the trend. Not the trend. Um, wide leg or like kind of like a dad jean. Wide leg jeans not being like the crazy flares that we saw a season or two ago. More kind of like flare. It's, not like oh, not like bell bottom. A dad jean is literally like the mom jean meets the boyfriend jean. Like they had a baby, so like they're not still, high waisted. The dad jean is a very like it's a yes. medium rise. They're kind of baggy. Yes, they're super comfortable, and it's just like it's the same kind of like look as a mom jean. They're just like 
It looks like a mom jean, fits like a boyfriend jean, basically. It's kind yeah. of what a dad jean is. Super popular. They're so comfortable. Super popular. Um, paper bag. Paper bags are having a moment. Which in, they have been for a while. I feel like every like winter fall they come back, but like, oh my God. And it's just, it's not like, like kind of like more casual pants. It's like dress pants. Yes, people it's are like, wearing these paper bag pants with elevating them. with their blazers is kind Ooh. of what's going on. So it's almost like paper bag dress pants. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like tie belt. There can be like, a gold like ring and you pull the belt through. Yeah. It's just like so the appearance like, of paper bag. They've been elevated. Yes, but they're big and baggy. Oh, big I and want baggy. a pair of like denim paper bag waist pants so bad. That'd be cute. They come up to like here. I want them. Again, because nobody can go anywhere and we're trying to stay safe and comfortable. Black leggings and skinny jeans. <laughs> Yes, black skinny jeans. No other. Yes, no specifically other. Specifically black, black skinny jeans. I think we can leave the the, the denim colored skinny jeans. Yes. In 2014. But black leggings, cause like they're simple, they're practical. People make them with those side pockets now that everybody goes crazy for, and yeah. they're comfortable. Like you can wear them with like a flannel or like a ribbed cardigan or like you know some other kind of ribbed top, ribbed ribbed top, yes. and it's like you don't look you know, horrible and you're comfortable. Yes. You know, perfect. I'm assuming these people that are wearing the black skinny jeans, they're like jeggings because it's mainly for the Oh, comfort. I 100% so that's, don't that's think really... it'd be like a cotton. No. Like a Levi's, like Yeah, I think it's kind of like black jeggings and leggings is really mm -hmm. what is going on. And then going off of the flare jeans again, we're not seeing those in like a ton of the like, the denim colors, like the dark wash, the light wash, whatever. It's more of like a gray going into like faded black. Yes. kind of thing. Yes. So they're like salt and pepper jeans. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's like black and like washed black jeans. Yes. And then all the hues of gray. And then there is one normal kind of wash being- Like classic. Yes. So like the jeans I have on, that classic wash. wash. It's or maybe not, even like just one hue yeah, darker. lighter. Yeah. It's not darker. Darker. <laughs> not like dark wash jeans where like, you know, they're not no. gonna like rub anywhere and they're not gonna leave any residue or anything, but they're not like- But it's not the super like- wash. It's not the super not, like, spring, light. like light, light no. blue. Just no. like blue jeans, yes. <laughs> literally. Good classic, like you took them out of your dad's like 80s closet, basically. I think that's what I did with these, but I took them out of the bins yes. and put them in my closet. Okay, so this is not a category that I thought I'd be including in the fall trend, but there are actually some trends for dresses for fall of 2020. So keyword coming back, ribbed dresses. So this is very interesting. They're like just full, straight, I'm so bad with like the words of dresses, but like, is that sheath? Or it's just straight, right? Shift, I sheath, don't know. whatever. No, but it's just a shift dress. I think it's a sheath. Straight ribbed dresses. Very popular. They kind of look like the Missoni dresses when they have more of like the ribbedness to oh, them. Oh, or where it's do. almost like kind of a form-fitting ribbed. That is really popular. They're basically maxi or like, like shin length. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I've seen that a lot actually, which is kind of That's surprising. Insane. And then the other kind of style of dresses that we're seeing is like tiered. And it's mainly Layered. black, no prints, mm -hmm. not really even any lace detail. It's like tiered black Different dresses. layers of cotton fabric. Yes, once again, it's kind of almost that like conservative dress wear. And then mm -hmm. once again, there is some cottagecore style dresses. Again, we'll get that to that in the end. Cottagecore kind of sprinkles all over it's this. It's actually All of these categories. I'm excited to tell you about it. Okay, that's it for <gasps> dresses. Okay, one more thing that I love, shoes. <sighs> So my favorite, 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 favorite thing in the world to wear during the fall is my Doc Martens. We are seeing a ton of Doc Martens. Oh my gosh. I Docs, will say. Not only, that's another one where it's like, it's been kind of really popular, but all of a sudden it's just like full speed ahead. I will say they're amazing. They're so- I almost am even considering getting a pair of myself. You should get a pair. And like, you, that's you, not my style. <laughs> if you love yourself, you should buy yourself a pair of Doc Martens. They don't even be new. My thing with them is they're a little pricey, but they last forever. I have my original pair of Doc Martens I got when I was in high school. They still kick in, I re-dye them every fall and they look beautiful. We are seeing a ton of boots, a ton of black boots specifically. And then going yes. off boots, we are seeing a lot of Chelsea boots. I have been oh. eyeing, there's a pair of Doc Chelsea. Martin Chelsea boots that I want right now. They're a cognac brown. Beautiful. We are seeing a ton, and they don't always have to be like like a dressy Chelsea boot. They can be no. like a chunky. They can be like a platform. Or like Hunter rubber Chelsea. Yeah, boots. those it's like all the words, like rain boots. And if you don't mm -hmm. know what a Chelsea boot is, it's like a 
boot that has this like U of like stretchy kind of fabric in the side. So they're ha yeah, yeah. It's like um, the, I mean, there's pictures the running. Google here. Chelsea boot. I'm there's not pictures gonna running here, here but like you. anything, <laughs> anything in these styles, any heights, mm -hmm. any materials. Yeah, literally they can be leather. They can be canvas. They can be PVC. They can be like rubber, like kind yes. of like the hunter boots, like a rain boot. Chelsea boots are so popular, this, and I think they're easy to pull on. This like, is another one, one, like the ribbed cardigan, where it's like I saw it. Everywhere. They're all over the place. like they're not going crazy. Anywhere. Apparently, Chelsea boots are gonna go crazy. Apparently, I want to wear them. They're out. very comfortable. Yes. Um, and then speaking a little more like casually, just white sneakers. I know yeah. sister just bought a pair of like what are those called? The Reeboks. I don't remember the name, but that's like a very popular white sneaker. Same thing with the low, the low ankle, on them. the low top Nike Air Force Ones. Yes. Like solid, I see those solid white those sneakers from wear. Reebok, from New mm -hmm. Balance, from Converse a lot, from Nike, the Air Force from are a big one. all kinds of places. But it's like black boots, white sneakers, and that's like the two <laughs> okay. very opposite of each other. But those are the two things that are kind of everywhere. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's fall, so I mean like. Ankle booties are really popular too. Yes. Python is still so in. Snake skin boots. I don't know about Extremely like popular. the crazy colored ones. I feel no, like, it's like they're the gonna white be white or cream. Like, yeah, I was gonna say they're gonna be like the oatmeal. Yeah. Or like natural looking snake skin. Yes. Versus like. And. Rit. Yeah. Not like skinny heel, chunky heel for sure, That's or like beautiful. almost no heel. Those other heels are hard to walk in. It's so easy to walk in. Yeah. <laughs> and then kind of like all of the heights, like up to the knee, but also down to the ankle. Mm -hmm. All of those are pretty popular. So going on to bags and wallets, Lord. there wasn't like a ton of people doing much with like some new kind of bag, like how we saw the pillow bag or whatever oh, in the, the summer. The pillow bag. But Sweet. what we have seen is a continue on of kind of the like puffy pillow bag. They're a little bit smaller now because they're really huge, I feel like, for the summer. And when you don't go out that much, what else, what do you, you have to carry, carry with you? Much. Yes, mm -hmm. so smaller puffy bags, a lot of black. Once again, like black and Simple. gray, Easy. super, super Basic. popular. Goes with every again, outfit. kind of like it's been for the past year, handle, like top handle handbags that you just mm -hmm. carry with your hand. Super, super on trend. That They're is like cute though. Yes, I just picked up a vintage coach that's that style. It even has a spot to put a crossbody, but I'm literally not even going to. No, I 100 wouldn't. Top handle is just so popular right now. Like I said, the slouchy kind of like puffy pillowy bags. Not as much like quilted, but just kind of like it's just a blob. Like it's just like this puffy... a pillowcase with a zipper. Yes. on the side. Basically, but that's your purse. Yes, <laughs> and then again. Croc. Brom. Croc. Some Python still, and then Croc embossed is super popular. Once again, feels like a trend every single fall. It is so sleek. Croc embossed is so sleek looking. Like, I totally get why it's so popular it in like boots so and purses. Good. It just looks. Like it just, think, it just has such a look to it that you just are like, ooh. That I think expensive. it's a really good way to like elevate a pair of like black leggings and like a cardigan though too. Yeah. Because especially like, we can't go anywhere, so obviously people aren't gonna wear like their fanciest everything, but like yeah. the handbag. Yes. It's very easy. And it's they're just, very small, they don't take up a ton of space. Yes. And they're very like boop. And it's not you know? some kind of in your face, so it doesn't even matter really matter what brand. It's just expensive looking. Like it yeah, just looks very exactly. sleek. That is it for like the pieces of the body. But Speaking generally. Like we always like to do, let's talk about what colors are really in, what patterns, and kind of summarize trends, what's going on here. Trend keyword. Rib. Ribbed, 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 ribbed tops, ribbed socks, ribbed hats, dresses, ribbed dresses, ribbed everything. gloves, ribbed cardigans, hats, beans, ribbed everything, ribbed everything. So that's it. be looking for the that's ribbed. You, that's all you need to wear. You can find like a ribbed free people sweater. You can find a ribbed like Urban Outfitters, like all that stuff. Super popular. It should do really well mm -hmm. this fall. Colors: tan, black, gray. And that is Neutrals. kind of the extent. Very neutral colors. There and were then, like, not many denim. others. Yeah. But I mean, for like bags and other clothing pieces besides jeans, it's like colors. black, very simple. tan, and gray. A very minimalist palette this year. So the big the big term of the fall is cottage core. Yes. It's not, it's so it's not like a subculture. Like there isn't like a group of like cottage core people. It's, it's an trend. aesthetic. Yes. So basically what it is, is people be like, oh, it's really bad right now. 
So it's this like romanticizing of like the prairie. Yeah. And like the look and the vibe of basically Laura Ingalls Wilder because she haunts every corner of my existence. So it's like this, when Jack was talking about like tear dresses, like simple little like things like, um, I know I've mentioned in other videos and hauls and stuff, it's like co not country, but like farmhouse, prairie. but like a it's younger farmhouse. My yes. advice to anybody, if you don't know what cottagecore is, Google it. Go on Pinterest, Instagram, Google cottagecore and just pay attention to like the general aesthetic of what people are doing, what people are wearing, yes. what kind of imagery people are looking at. There is like too much to go over for Cottage Car. It it's would a like big, a whole own video. And we big, big. aren't even like perfectionists at it yet. No. Like we don't really completely understand all of the aspects yet. So please for fall, look into Cottage Car. Cottage Car kind of like was at the end of summer and it's probably gonna like ride its way into fall because it was oh, just it's, starting. I think it's gonna go in a winter. It was just Instantly. starting in the summer and it's just kind of hitting mainstream more. Yes. We we heard about it like a month ago and it wasn't mm -hmm. i was kind of like what is this it doesn't seem like something that's going to take off but it has grown so i'm assuming it's going to keep growing and i will say so when i when i list things on poshmark or these other platforms that like fit in these categories i put cottage core in either my title or my description yes. and i've noticed that those items have been getting a really good amount of attention like yeah. they have a lot of likes they have a lot of like i can see people asking about them people are talking about them but i don't know if they necessarily would if I didn't have those keywords. Yeah. So we'll say, do your research, find items in your closet that mimic or have like similar characteristics of these cottage core pieces, and then throw cottage core in your video. Yes. <laughs> and then for like patterns, we're still seeing Python, like we said, a lot of cream, a lot of white, and a lot of black. Mm -hmm. Croc embossed or croc pattern is super popular. I actually saw on a website that someone had like a pair of croc pattern leggings, which was Ooh. interesting, but croc is just very I don't know popular. how I feel about that. I know, I don't either. Mm -hmm. And then leopard print still in. It's been in forever and it's not really going anywhere. And then gray micro plaid is super, super popular. Not Love always the huge plaids, obviously, unless it's flannel. Like a buffalo check is not good pattern for flannel but for coats mm -hmm. blazers dresses whatever it's like a gray micro plaid and yes. hopefully i've had some pictures here so you can kind of see what that is if you don't know what micro plaid means okay what well, i feel like the so, girl wearing the crop like instead of the like the peter pan like doo, 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 doo. remember there's the alligator <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> back to the topic. So that is all that we found for our fall of the year 2020 trends. So hopefully you learned something today. We love, I we love, love, love making these videos. They're we so love fun. doing the research so for them. I hope that you guys like them as well. And let me know if you have seen or heard of any other trends going into fall that we didn't have here that maybe somehow I missed. And yeah, if you sell any of these pieces, tag me. Yeah. Post them on Instagram and be like, look what I sold from. Yeah, if you, me. I oh love, I love, 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 love when people are like, oh my god, look at this like awesome cottage core dress. I found a Goodwill. I'd love to see yes. it because then I know more. If you guys, <laughs> if you guys these. take and apply this knowledge, and you're a reseller and you pick it up to resell and you put it in your Instagram story, please, please tag, tag us. I love when you guys I do love that. to see them. I you love really do seeing the like cool finds you guys have. Okay, so we will see you tomorrow on the second channel. If you want to check that out, link is below. Or, a fun little video. Or if you don't want to, <laughs> we will see you on Thursday with another fun fall video that I will not give that away yet either. It's just right. So thank you guys I'm for excited. watching, and we will see you on Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday. Bye. Wednesday. Goodbye.